G'day everyone, it's Adam Brown here from ISW and Kudos and I'm very pleased to uh, announce the release of Kudos Boards Cloud which has been much anticipated by the IBM Connections community around the world. We've had Kudos Boards for Connections on-prem for uh, about 18 months, two years now and, and we've had lots and lots of people asking us to deliver Kudos Boards for Connections Cloud. So we're very pleased to release it um, and I thought I'd give you a, a quick video um, to demonstrate some of the some of the great features of um, Kudos Boards Cloud. So I'll just switch across now to uh, my Connections Cloud uh, environment. Um, this Kudos Boards is completely integrated with Connections Cloud so you can just navigate through your Connections Cloud environment to Kudos Boards. And you can see here, um, it's still completely integrated so you get the seamless user experience for all of your users. And you start off with what uh, we refer to as My Boards page. So each one of these tiles represents one of the boards uh, that you're currently engaged in. Um, and you can see here, you can use boards for lots of things. So we use it for responding to RFPs or running marketing campaigns or any project or activity that you want to engage multiple people in. Um, so on the My Boards page, we can do a few neat things. We can obviously uh, color code our different tiles. We can see here how many tasks we've got left remaining. Um, we can very quickly access the to-dos that we've got across all of our different boards. Um, and we can also go in and pin our favorite boards or our most important boards so they're always accessible um, from the top. Now, if I go into one of these boards, I'm just going to go into this IBM Connect 2017 board. Um, we're heading over to Connect in San Francisco and we're, we're using Kudos boards to organize all of the activities around that. So you can see here, We've got a, a number of different lists um, and cards across this board. So a list is sort of a grouping. It could be like a, a phasing a, in a Kanban workflow. Or it could just be a group of items. So um, we can go through here and see different details. So for example, um, we, we know now that there's approximately 2,000 uh, attendees. So I can very quickly come in here and uh, uh, update this to say 2,000 attendees and that'll update that there. Uh, I can go in and change the date. I'll just confirm the date of Connect is the 20th to the 23rd. So I can my coming here and update this and go 20th to 23rd of Feb 2017. Um, I might want to do other things like I can uh, add a comment here. I can um, tag it. I can um, add custom fields or attachments or a range of different things here. Um, now, the location, of course, is in San Francisco, uh, so I'll just update this. Um, and we've got a, a few of the guys from ISW attending. There's actually also uh, Nick Young is attending as well, so I'll just add Nick Young here, um, and we'll whack him in there. I'm actually going to make that a uh, uh, entry rather than a to-do, so I can flip that back and forth. Um, now, there's a few tasks we need to do to, to get ready, and you can see a few of it's been organized already. So we've organized the travel dates, we've booked some flights, we've booked some accommodation. Adrian's still got to organize uh, a few pamphlets, so we've got that there. Uh, a few giveaways we're organizing. I think we've got some koalas, so actually I might allocate that to myself. Now, when I allocate that task, um, I would receive uh, an email notification. It also updates in my connections activity stream that, that I need to work on this task. Uh, we'll get boated by the Aussie chocolates. And I think as well as that, we might um, add another one. We might have a Bose uh, stereo, stereo to give away. And what we'll do, um, I'll add a bit more detail to that. I'll just say, uh, Bo, can, can you please purchase a giveaway stereo on the trip over. Great. Now, I'm going to actually uh, color code that one because it's quite important. We don't want to forget. So I'm going to actually edit what these color codes mean. And I'll just do green is uh, important. Save that. And then what I'm going to do is just allocate that green color code to 
uh, this card, right? Oh, yeah, I didn't assign it to Bo, so I'll grab Bo, drag and drop him, and assign him to that task so that he knows, right? So we've got a few other things here. Uh, Andrew's organizing the laptop. He's getting the power board. We might actually give him the router as well. I'll get Bo to um, get the mobile device. And there's a few other things. They're quite important. So I'll, I'll just drag and drop the important task or important color code onto those as well because we do not want to forget. Um, and we can do that. Now, one of the other cool things that we can do here is we can actually reorganize the board. So we can actually... Um, view them based on to-dos by members. So I can sort that board to say, well, here are all the tasks uh, sorted by member. Um, and what else have we got here? Our uh, power adapter, I'll give that to Andrew as well. He seems to have that sort of stuff. Uh, and covering Kudos support, Andrew Welsh doesn't actually uh, get to come with us this year, unfortunately, but um, but I'll, I'll make sure he's handling support back at home. Um, we can also do some cool things like reorganize the list here. So we might actually look and go, well, the travel's organized. So I'm actually going to push that down the list a bit. Um, and that actually moves it across here. So it's a nice, quick, easy way to sort and, and uh, reorganize the lists. Now, if I jump back to uh, Kudos Boards itself, we can see here um, we actually have templates. And you can create your own templates. So a few different examples. We've got like an Agile Team Project template, which is quite uh, useful. So you might use Kudos Boards Cloud to sort of manage uh, an agile project. Um, we might do something like respond to an RFP. So we've got a starting point here for, for managing or responding to an RFP. Or we might actually look and say, well, we want to run a marketing campaign. So um, we've got a, a format throughout ISW for, for managing our marketing campaign. So you can very easily create these uh, templates as a starting point so that when your users create a new board, they're not starting from scratch. So look, there's a lot more to Kudos Boards Cloud. Um, we're, we're really keen to show you some more. We'll be at IBM Connect uh, in, in a few days time, but also feel free to reach out and we're happy to give you a demo anytime. Uh, you can find more info at uh, info.kudosboards.com. It's very easy to set up and register and integrate it with your Connections Cloud environment. So we hope to talk to you soon.